All right, folks. Well, welcome back to another episode of A Day in the Chaotic Life of Phoenix Resale on Renix P Sale, uh, featuring an attention hungry dog, which appa apparently is playtime right now. Also, a, ow, a box <laughs> of Ritz, because I've been sick this week and been eating nothing but bland foods and apparently some jelly that I had with it. And a table full of uh, loose handheld games, which I'm not really, you can pan in and get a little nice little shot of that. I, yet to be determined whether it was a mistake buying just bags of these out when I was in Clarksville this last week. I really have no idea. I'm lotting these up to, whoa, to sell in whatnot auctions. Probably just one not whatnot auction coming up this next week. So we've got like a lot of 10 girls games here. Uh, or, you know, boys, if you just want to play Barbie, Princess, and the Popper, I don't know, I'm not gonna judge. And these are just gonna continue to be lotted up in lots of who knows how many, because that's just that's just one of the things we do. We've got a st multiple stacks. You guys saw, this is the aftermath of last video, which I filmed yesterday, unfortunately, uh, without the help of Spanky, so it was much more stagnant and uh, uninteresting, which, speaking of Spanky, what's new in your world, man? What have you been up to today? What did I do? I sent out some stuff from the last whatnot auction on Monday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're we're getting those packages out. Okay, I have to be honest. This was the longest shipping time that has happened in a whatnot auction in a long time because I was sick for like the two and a half days following that auction. So the auction happened on Monday. We got today's Friday. We finally got that stuff shipped out and some eBay orders and you know, still haven't moved any of this stuff. Uh, so anyways, what the actual content of today's video is supposed to be is me opening up this bad boy right here, just plopping right down on the floor. Oh, here comes Spanky as well. This is a viewer purchase. I think an Instagram follower reached out to me and I want to say this is maybe the second time that he's actually uh, selling me stuff. And we'll see if there's an invoice or anything because as you guys know by now, I don't remember what the heck I buy. Ooh, wow, it's a lot of stuff though. Look at all this. That is pretty cool. Uh, starting out with a good old siphon filter on the PSP. We've got, what is this? We've got Cold Fear on the original Xbox. <laughs> what, That's what's going breaking on back stuff there? behind me. <laughs> also, I wasn't going to show this earlier, but I do have a very unfortunate and shameful eBay <laughs> return that I got today, which is of this glorious copy of AW Phoenix Festa, one of the premier PS Vita games, one of the most expensive ones easily. This thing is sealed and it sold I think for $900, but the person ended up returning it because apparently they didn't see that there's a little bit, and this is how specific collectors often are when it comes to high-end sealed games. There's a little bit of like, like stretching almost from where somebody peeled off the sticker here in the seal, not in the game, but in the seal of the game. And uh, that was enough to unfortunately merit a return on that very expensive purchase. But nonetheless, we will get it relisted uh, with some more specific photos. And hopefully that sale came within like 24 hours of listing it. So I would, I would guess that guy's going to sell pretty soon. You're welcome to check the eBay store, which should probably be linked in the description of this video if you're interested in buying that bad boy. Uh, but right now, the project at hand, we've got East Memories of Kelsita. A time, uh, timeless adventure edition. Very nice. Oh, this is really cool. All these things are saran wrap for, I would guess maybe like water protection reasons. I've never really had huge water issues with uh, any shipping service, but you guys can let me know in the comments if you have and if you recommend. This isn't something that I'll normally do, but you know, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Um, we've got Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, the Monster Hunter Rise Edition. Has this, it looks like this one's not brand new, but always having the boxes is always a nice thing. Up next, we've got a PlayStation 3 remote control, as well as this is another one that I was excited and I know some of you guys will be excited to see as well. A special limited edition, if I can find the opening for this thing, holy cow. Game Boy Color which is the, I don't know if it's technically like, it's like a silvery gold, I would say. My goodness. goodness. 
Okay, folks, so for most of the items in this box, you may just have to peek at them through bubble wrap, through the saran wrap, because I don't want to do that for all of these. But uh, we've got the Pikachu and Pichu edition of the Game Boy Color. Absolutely love to see this. Uh, really nice little 1998 there with the, that looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure that this isn't like a reshell with like some fancy paint on there. But nonetheless, this is a fantastic little uh, addition. We've got a Sony PS3 pink controller, a uh, camo edition controller. We've got the, ooh, this is a cool one. The DS Lite Zelda edition. Another one of these, we got these, we got one of these in a package recently as well. And this thing is super wrapped up. Prinny, uh, what is that? 1.2 exploded and reloaded. All right, little, little switch pack there. Never gonna complain about that. Ooh, look at this folks. We got some more switch stuff. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exercise self-control and not look at that until a little bit later. We've got uh, Final Fantasy Anthology, uh, you know, the larger kind of box there. But what else? We've got Star Fox 3D on the 3DS, not bad. Here we've got, what is this guy? This one I might actually have to open because I cannot, t well, yes I can. It's Final Fantasy, okay. <laughs> Okay, remastered editions, Final Fantasy Origins 1 and 2. Very nice, and this thing's in fantastic shape too. That's that's really great to see. At the bottom of this box here, we have... Okay, yep, I do remember this. A red PS3 Super Slim, which uh, you do, oftentimes people don't realize how these things actually like open and close. And they'll think that like if they get it like this, they'll think it's broken when in reality, that's just how it slides. And it's very annoying to get returns like that. But uh, yeah, great to see nice little special edition console there. We've got the Mario edition DS Lite. So a couple of special edition DS Lights. Oh man, and the Nintendogs edition. Metallic Rose, I believe is this color ordinarily, but when it has that little paw print on there, it makes it a little special. We've also got Lonely Mountains Downhill. Ooh, a super rare game on the Switch. That's really fun. I will definitely, definitely be keeping that one for the collection. We've got a little bundle here of Game Boy Color, or rather Game Boy, original Game Boy games. Uh, again, it's real wrapped up and I don't, well, okay, it's happening, I guess. <laughs> All right, we've got Tiny Toons, Advent, uh, Babs, Big Break. We've got, okay, that's a, we've got some Spanish Pokemon games. Gonna have to double check on those, make sure those weren't listed as English. Can you read them for us in <laughs> yeah. Spanish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Edición Especial Pikachu, Este Lado Hacia Afuera. I think that means this side this side out for all the people who on their original Game Boys didn't know which direction to put the cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But I don't know, honestly, I don't know anything about games that are printed in Spanish. Like if this is supposed to look like an original game, then that's definitely a repro Spanish cart, but I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to that stuff. And then this doesn't even have the artwork on it. It's just some like gauze or something that was, <laughs> that somebody slapped on there. Looks like at some point someone wrote Spyro. So maybe, maybe that's a Spyro game. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, this is cool. Check that out, a pair of Zelda. Skyward Sword Joy-Cons for the Switch. Joy-Cons? I don't think, I don't, do I have a set of these? I might need to keep these if I don't. Up next, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver Collector's Edition. So that would have been sold like in a set of three. I don't know what the other games would have been. Maybe we have a little clue with whatever this other game is in here that I can't actually see. All right, maybe it was just a set of two. Blood Omen Legacy of Kane Collector's Edition. And again, looking at some really nice condition on there, which is great to see. But boy, that was a lot of work to get that bad boy out. All right, we've got, okay, let's do a few of the Switch games. We've got, uh oh, looks like this one is actually the uh, European edition. So I'll have to double check on that one as well, make sure, because normally I make a point of not buying PAL stuff because the, the values just are not the same in US versus PAL region. So World Ends With You, and then we also have the, oh no, this is Neo, The World Ends With You. We've got Battle Axe, which I don't actually recognize. I can't remember if I have that one or not. Shin Megami Tensei V Steelbook Edition, which is pretty cool to see. 
And finally, again, a non-US, this one is sealed though, Harry Potter Lego collection. So a couple things to double check on if there is. So normally the way that these work, hi there Elsie, is uh, I have people include invoices with them. Hopefully we do end up finding an invoice in here because if they don't, then I really have no way of knowing where this came from. Like I can look at the name or the address and like try to search it in an email or something like that. But if you do end up uh, selling to me, which we very much appreciate all the people who do sell direct. <laughs> Elsie's got her face in spankies. Hey, Elsie, come here. Do make sure to uh, please include an invoice because that makes processing stuff on our end way easier. Hey, come here. Why don't you come and sit in this game pile? Come on, doggy. Look at this throne of games. Yay, exciting. That's money. Good doggy. <laughs> Alpha Protocol, Aragorn's Quest on PS3, Eternal Sonata, Tomb Raider Trilogy, Jack and Daxter, Star Wars Force Unleashed 1 and 2, as well as Lord of the Rings Conquest, Metal Gear Solid, and God of War Saga. All of those are US editions, which is excellent to see. And of course, collection games are really great for resale as well. Looks like we've got two potential GameCube games in here. We've got Zelda Wind Waker, Complete. Uh oh Oh, what? Wind Waker alert. Wind Waker alert. We've gotten a lot of these recently. Spanky loves it. And uh, X-Men Legends, no uh, artwork for some reason. And then a good little stack of PS2 here, Legacy of Kane. Apparently this was a Legacy of Kane fan. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Should we just leave it? No, we're not going to leave it. We're going to reveal the mystery. It's Soul Reaver 2, Legacy of Kane series again. We've got Legacy of Kane series Blood Omen 2. We've got Jet Li Rise to Honor, Ark the Lad, as well as Gauntlet Dark Legacy and regular Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. We're moving right along here, folks. We're cranking them out. We've got... In the Xbox section, actually, this is a larger section than I was anticipating. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga on 360. 13, we've got Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. Battlefront, Clone Wars, Hulk Ultimate Destruction. I freaking love the case art on that. I think it's so great. Uh, episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Half-Life 2, what do you guys think? Again, <laughs> see the resemblance? Basically the same person. Father, that's it for, yeah, that's all of the Xbox section. We're cranking right through this. Uh, we've got some PSP stuff here, and then some PS4, and finally the last of the Switch. Here we go. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I love getting complete PSP stuff because it sells really well on Amazon. God of War Chains of Olympus. Daxter, which always surprises me how little it's worth for some reason. I, I wish it was worth more. Then finally, of the PS4, we've got Monstrum Knox. Spencer has knelt on the bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, PS5, look at that. I don't get PS5 stuff in very much. Yakuza Like a Dragon, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and finally, will any of these be for the collection? I think so far only one or two will probably stay with me. Dragons, Dawn of New Riders, that's not going to be one I'll keep. Sonic Colors, uh, maybe. Have you Sonic fans out there? I haven't really heard a lot about this game, which leads me to believe it probably isn't great, but let me know in the comments if it's worth keeping. Super Monkey Ball 2-in-1 with Sonic Forces. I've actually played both of these. I like Monkey Ball a lot better. Uh, oh, another 2-in-1. Sonic Mania and Sonic Tag Team Racing. I probably will keep this one because I don't know if I have... I might have Sonic Mania. I know I don't have Team Sonic Racing. So I'll, I'll probably put that one in the keep pile. Uh, the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. Is this... Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a limited run game. I had no idea they made a video game of the Dark Crystal. So the history of this movie is that it's a Jim Henson movie. It's one of his only, well, not one of his only, but one of his, one of not that many non-Muppets feature length films. And it's like way darker and like it, it was made for adults, but it was kind of a flop in the box office, but became kind of a cult classic. Anyway, I didn't know that it was a game. So this one will definitely be staying with me. I'm not huge into like tactics games. But I don't know, the fact that this exists is just really cool. And finally, Astria Ascending, Maximum Games. I don't know anything about this either. I'm not a huge JRPG guy. So this one's kind of a toss up for me, but to be able to come up with this and this and whatever that like Switch biking game was and maybe a set of Joy-Cons for the collection from this purchase is really cool. And then everything, oh wait, ah yes, there is an invoice in here, perfect. So we will be able to see Great, yeah, the uh, payment info and the amount and everything. Looks like we paid 900 something for this lot, which 
Uh, I am assuming is probably a good deal. It's just based on price charting. Feel free to reach out on email or Instagram if you want to do a deal like this. Appreciate you guys coming along for our messy resale business journey here. And uh, Spanky, you wanna hit him with the outro? We'll catch you on the flip. Heck yeah.